right. Your eyes are not lying. It's true. It's the second season of Celeb Shade. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the show. I'm still Rafsanyani, your nephew, and I'm here to give you what we do best, and that is showbiz. Nothing but showbiz, 100%. And what better way to come back than this interview that you're going to have today. And I want you to allow me, to allow you some time to grab a drink or something to bite and relax in your chair because when we come back, it is Jose Chameleon, 100%. And they say, 2014 activated. Stick right there. I'll be back in a moment. That's Gimme Gimme Deridan music video. And I can tell you, I've watched the whole of it. And hey, in simple words, it's just amazing. But we have to wait because it's kind of embargoed until sometime when someone premieres it. And then everyone will be able to watch the full video of Gimme Gimme. Fantastic. You can see those beautiful, expensive cars. The Ferraris and the Ghosts. Goodness me. A lot of money invested in the music videos. And that looks very, very good. Hey, we all know a lot has been said, a lot has been sung, a lot has been done, and a lot has been heard. But when it comes to big artists and big interviews, we go for the big concerns. And I'll start with the biggest concern, which happens to be the Western music invasion or influx in Uganda. And when you look around, you realize that actually a lot of music from Nigeria and maybe Ghana and other countries has dominated the music on the continent and even in our own country. And this is one of the problems that we are tackling today. But I understand that Camillon has got an idea, maybe a greater view than mine, over this issue. Let me tell you something. Uganda is the best country. I'll be honest with you, Uganda is, Singata, is, is the country with the best talent in Eastern Central Africa. I'll be honest with you. Nigerians don't sing better than we do. But... We should leave the social criticism and go to the commercial criticism. Commercial criticism is going to teach us to package ourselves in a better way. Look at it this way. When you buy ground nuts, they are both ground nuts but in different packaging. You'll trust the ground nuts in the cavera as if they're not packed by hands as well. So we should, where, the, where the quality is missing is we have wrong branding. We have wrong branding. That is the reason I'm also trying to fit myself in a box that is worth a chameleon. You see, Uganda music can only be good to Ugandans. That's why I'm complaining and I'm going to talk about music affair on the international channels and blah, blah, blah. Our music is substandard, sub-quality. It is sub-quality. No matter how beautiful the picture looks like, people international and professional look at the directorship, the shots, what type of camera did you do, did you use, what angles. Those things people here don't look at. We need to step up on our quality of production and step up on our quality of packaging. But you need to prepare yourself. And that's a big mistake that we've all done as artists in the past history that we need to put right. Then also the point of production, Jogambi, yeah. People should also try and as hard as they can to be original. I've had a lot of people trying to mimic chameleon, but they have been short-lived. You cannot be chameleon because chameleon, chameleon is already being chameleon. You can only be you. You see what I mean? So, being G, but of course we can't achieve this in one, one day or two days or one year. We have to grow. We have to grow. Uganda needs to grow professional. We need to look at music professionally. To them, you job is to know your mark No, 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 no. Music, music is endless. We can achieve a lot of things out of it. If you say that Nigerian music, is driving us back to the dark days of Ugandan music. What would be the best way to rescue local talent? We have been given the lead by people. And instead of taking the lead to develop our music, we have taken the lead to insult each other. We've spent a lot of time judging ourselves on social basement. What you're driving what, where you're living, what do you eat, what do you do, how rich are you, and stuff like that. And we have totally ignored the music part of it that took us to who we 
to the argument of judgment. I think we as artists who have managed to penetrate, we need to stand and protect Ugandan music. Not individual music, but Ugandan music. We have to, of course you have to protect your own music, but a certain percentage of you has to protect the Ugandan music. To be frank with you, I'm not, I look at some crazy DJs. I know, I know a lot of them. You're in the club and they play like 45% Nigerian music. And then he can't even play one or two, three upcoming artist songs. Playing a lot of foreign music doesn't, doesn't build our music, it kills our music. That happened in the 80s and 90s when the Zaireans, where the South Africans came in and, and they were wiped away by the Congolese. The Congolese came in until I came in to rescue the situation. So we need to find another way. That's the reason I've actually gone to international video, video quality. Because we're all just sitting. Terrierly we're in college, countering this, and people acting like they don't see. Talking of quality, let's talk about your latest projects. I understand you've been in the studio recording new music and on scene recording or rather capturing new music videos. How is this whole project going like? When you're doing a correction of a career, as I, was, as, as, as I was advised, you take a few steps behind so you can jump a little bit higher. So we've, I've shot three, five videos. I've done, uh, I've done, I've done uh, Gimme Gimme. I've redone it because it's a full energy song and it has a lot of potential internationally. And also for surprise, is I've redone the Valu Valu video. And I have one more video with Davido for a new, video, a new song, All the Girls, and then two new songs with new videos. Then there's the chameleon reunion with his former protege, and that is the Good Life Boys. How real was this reunion? Is it for real? And why did it take this long? Ralph, let me be very straight on this. Music Uganda is running to unity right now. That is the reason you find Chameleon smiling with Moze Radio. Moze Radio smiling with Baby Cool. And uh, Baby Cool, uh, he might smile with Bobby Wine, I don't know. But the truth about it is, let me tell you something, my brother. When Chameleon go, when Moze Radio and Weasel went for the BET, as much as they have people to celebrate that, the critics were also out there to criticize that. Do you know why? Because they celebrated that nomination as individuals, not as a country. You get what I mean? When Chameleon goes for, when Baby Cole goes for Mandela's birthday, he says, never or Mandela. Good, but he's making it good for him, not good for all of us. If he says, yeah, yeah, but now you got to to a scoring to Gezi. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. When I go for the World Cup, people are like, ah, you know, second seconds, the biddy. My friend, that is 9 billion people watching. People can't even sing on World Fool's Day and they're criticizing me for World Cup. So what happens is, we should learn, we should patriotically teach people to celebrate with us. We need to start celebrating these things. Got we celebrate your friend now. We're going to be nominating Bobby Wine to MTV base. So let all Ugandans go for what we know you. That's the only way. Let me not selfish interests on Agamba, Smanya, and And let me tell you, we should also upgrade on our music. Let's stop singing about each other. Because nobody can I'll sing about you, Raf Sanjani. Not the whole world knows you. So Jackie Rogan, you smile, you know, you be a young guy. Smile for Gary Ato, smile with Jeans, and you know, you know, smile the big the doctor, smile the Muba. List of that people don't, I mean, people don't know these things beyond these borders. Well, happy to be the father of these great artists, but then how does this affect and how do you deal with it as Leon Island when people come in and go out that quickly? Where does it leave Leon Island as an empire? Yeah, you know, Leon Island won't stop, won't stop nurturing artists. Let me tell you something, when you're doing, it's always wise not to stop when you're doing a good thing. I mean, I've been, I've been betrayed, frustrated, abused, and all that kind of thing. But when you're doing something right, you don't stop. So we are still nurturing talent. The only painful thing about it is, yet for me, my mission was building a big team. But anyway, nevertheless, some people outgrow that and create space for the others. We in showbiz know what beef means. But I have a question. Has beef all of a sudden become too expensive for Jose Chameleon to afford to maintain on the menu every day that he has resorted to some bit of salads? Or he has just realized that actually beef or red meat is not healthy. Well, people, have, we've all gotten different fears. Before, before, before I was somebody's, somebody's fear and somebody else was my fear. 
but we have we've gotten big, bigger fears. We have gotten more worries than to worry about than worry about chameleon. I mean, we're not trying to be when I jag at anyone. One of Namiji the Chin Sumoman, a rational salary to me, I'm going to blood. Hey, 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 you see what I mean? He I know fears in the Oxygo Maria Mani Greek chameleon carols. They visit me. Chameleon, I never zoo. Chameleon Jacob Gambanti, eh? Bagamba, I better Kubuko. Chameleon, even a bit of it. Chameleon, you buy a jitunda, blah, blah. So I have bigger fears. Catacunda, that is a good one. You're ready, Mugabi, right? You want to get the go to. And we also got a common fear. We, go, we have different fears, but we also got a common fear. We all want a breakthrough. We all want a breakthrough. I'll be very frank on that. I was very, 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 it's a big challenge that the good life people gave to the Ugandan industry as well. And I'm proud to be the man who discovered that they are talent before the world appreciated them. After Good Life went for BET, everybody woke up. She went to me, she to me, she said, we can. She said, to Sobola. People have started, have started to realize that certain things are possible if we work so hard. Kakati, I was recording on Mr. G, I was recording on Red Ratty, Baby Kula recording on a. What was it? I was bend over. So, I was going to go passage, I was going to go Kati, don't have time to. Ibane, I'm going to be a singer. You're worrying about me. The singer, I'm going to be calling. You're going to be looking at me. You're going to be international. You're a guru. So many things, too many videos, too much music being done here. But if you ask Chameleon, what would be your short time goal? What are you looking up to do in the very shortest time from now? My short term project is by the end of this year. I want to be the number one African artist. Number one, not the number 10, number six, and whatever. I want to be the number one. That is my short term target. How to get there, I know. When to get there, this year. But I told you, when you can't make it, that doesn't mean you're failing. You try again, but that is my shortest time notice. Well, talking to Jose Chameleon, and you avoid talking about the Tubonge concert 2014, is like having an elephant in the living room and you don't mention it. So let's talk about it because Friday is the day. It's about two days now or even less to the show. And preparations, I understand, are in high gear. But let's hear from the horse's mouth. I mean, Tubonge is, uh, is going to be one of the biggest celebrated shows. Because, I mean, one is we started, I started doing my launches in um, Equatorial Hotel, a small 600 turn up venue. And then we slowly grew and went to Africana. We are grew Africana, we grew to Chad on the rugby. So honestly, for me, I feel like this is a, a turning point of Uganda, Uganda music as a whole. I know Lukogo Lug is very big. I know that. You don't need to go to school to know that Lukogo is different from Chad on the rugby. But I'm also trying to weigh my ability after the 14 years of my music. The show on Friday is at the gigantic cricket over Lugogo where very few artists have succeeded in terms of filling up numbers. And most of these have been only international artists. The local chaps have stayed away from this monster arena. That's why, for some people, the challenge that awaits Jose Chameleon on Friday is make or break. But for Jose Chameleon, at least in his own words, this is just another step forward in his own career. I am not trying to start, stay away from the group. But also another important thing that I want us to note is people, to the perception of the people, they call us the big artists and they call others the upcoming artists. So when you're the big artist, it is your role as well to, to, lead, to lead music to, the, to, the, to, the, to a direction that others can pick it and also lead the rest. One of the reasons that I'm chameleon today is because I, I, I endure. I have a lot of endurance in me. And when I want something, I only fail and try again. You see what I mean? I don't call it a risk. I call it an achievement. Let me tell you something. Why, why is Lugogo being a venue for all international artists? Where Conscience is going to come, where Sean Paul is going to come, where David is going to come, uh, Peace Square. Yet it is in Uganda. And I'm ready for the shame like I'm ready for the pride. Lugogo is not a risk. Lugogo can be outdone and that is what I'm going to do on the 28th. Is Jose Chameleon moving to Lugogo Cricket over to counter the international concerts that normally take place there? Just like it is... Uh, the president's obligation, if Somalia attacks Uganda, it is it's his obligation to deploy for to go and attack Somalia, to stop attacking Uganda. So it is our duty as big artists to counter. And I want to remind you honestly, I've been here for 14 years. 
no matter how the, they call the mighty Rogogo creator was so huge. I am also a huge artist. And I have uh, millions of subscribers. And I don't, I don't need a million people to fill that place because they can't fit there. I need a few of my fans who can afford, who can, who can the early ones, to come and let's celebrate that. Rugogo is going, I have to go for Rugogo one, two, three more times until I win. I'm not going there. Let them not think that I'm going there in experiment that if I fail, I'm going to go back to Chadondo. No, no, I'm going to stay in Rugogo until Rugogo understands that I'm Uganda's biggest music export. And that is it. I love the confidence. And like in his own song, Going On, I would like to know, after Rugogo, what next? Nambole? It will depend on the demand of the fans. I mean, Nambole it takes, it takes 70,000 people. If I need a venue that need, can sit 70,000 people, I'll still go. I told you music is unlimited. It is unlimited. People, people go to Lugogo Cricket over for their weddings. So why can't we go there for our music? And stuff like that. So we can, we, it's also ours. If, if we outgrow Lugogo, then we go to the next level. That's what it is. They say that Chameleon's concerts are like a meal served with mayonnaise. I would like to know, how does the menu look like this time around? I call it the East African Concert Live simply because there's an entourage coming from, there are people coming from Tanzania, people coming from Rwanda, people coming from Kenya, people coming from Congo, people coming from, from Southern Sudan. So, me as an artist, that challenges me a lot. I have to, th I have to give them a thrill worth of that. A thrill worth of that. We are putting a few things together. I mean, last year I put on my astronaut costume and it went viral to things that even American TVs we are, we are talking about that. Whether it was critic, critic, uh, in critic or in, uh, in compliment, it doesn't matter. If an American TV can do that, can recognize that, that that's a correct for our music. So from costuming, it's going to be different. And I'm going to take people by surprise. There are lots of things I can do musically that people don't know that I can do. That is when I'm showcasing some of them. If he was a player, he would be Lionel Messi of Uganda. Because we know him is the big stage performer. He is not the one to be outshone at a concert. We have seen that at Oliver Ngoma. We've seen that with Lucky Dube. We've seen it with so many other big acts when they come here. And he puts up a big, big concert. What makes Chameleon invisible? And what makes a Chameleon concert tick? When, when an army man sees the gun, he gets turned on. When an artist sees a paintbrush, it is, it is adrenaline. It is adrenaline. When I, for example, I'll be honest, when I walk into Jazzville, and find a band playing. Even when I'm not going to be paid, I start to feel like I want to sing. And to be a frank, competition makes us better every other day. Better every other day. And it's not that I want to be in the mix. It is just my ability is not just like the others. Because honestly, there are shows that I've gone to, my fellow artist shows, and you don't want to outshine them. And you want to be like, but automatically, automatically, the crowd drives you to that side. So it is ability. It is not, it's nothing to do with, with uh, trying to outshine anybody. It's nothing to do with, uh, with trying to prove a point. Let me ask Sam, what is the meaning of the word Tubonge? Tubonge means let's, let's, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Most of people think it is Kubonga, Tubonge, or something like that, but that's not the truth. Tubonge means let's have a chat. It, for the Tubonge songers in particular, is the, I don't know whether you've also had this time where you feel down and you can't, you feel like even consulting a friend cannot heal. And you feel like, I wish, I wish God, I wish God had where he stayed. I wish I could communicate to my, to God like on one on one and tell him Katonda. You understand me? So in that particular song is, I'm celebrating God as my, my genuine perfect friend who can never leave me alone. You see, um, the man that I bank my secrets with, the man that knows me, more than everybody knows me. But then, unfortunately, that man who knows me in every aspect, in every angle, the man who created me in his image, I don't know what he looks like. He doesn't have, where, he doesn't have an address. That's why I said that I wish God was on Facebook or Twitter. I could tweet him sometimes and consult him and be like, God, Raf is asking me about beef. What should I say about this? But you can't even consult him. So I'm asking God to give me a chance to come and let's talk. Let's have a chit chat. Enjoy to bongi. Come, let's, God, God, come. Let me host you at my house. Come, let me cook you good food. If God was a human being, I would love to host him at my house. Cook for him good food. Thank him for the good he's done for me. Basically, that, that is what the song is about. I wish God was a human being that would all consult and say, hey. but all he left for us is the Bible, the Quran, and all those holy, holy 
religious books. He has no way. They, they say he's in heaven, yes, but even there, where is heaven? Up there. You can't get there. I wish God was somebody I could go to. Help me on this. Help me on that. Thank you for this. That is a Tubonge song, actually. Well, there are many things that people disagree on about Jose Chameleon out there, but at least they will agree on one thing, that Jose Chameleon is a man of tricks, a man of controversies, and a man of antics. And just recently, there was news that he was involved in an accident, just a week before his concert. How true is this? Could it be one of those gimmicks under his sleeves? Or oh, how true is this? What's going on? I am Ugandan, but every time I plot to excel, people treat me like I'm a foreigner. And it, it is bad. It is bad. And then some people start to think that those are gimmicks I've put up to promote my shows. Camille is already a big brand that can it's self-spoken. When I say it's Camilion in Lugogo, people know that. So I don't need to put drama around it. I don't need to put any drama around it. You see, that is for other people who need it. But for me, I don't need that. So I feel very bad when those things come up. It is Ugandans stripping Ugandans. That's what I mean. What type of society is that? But that is not true. I'm very, I, I, I left my, 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 my usual place that I, I usually go on my Wednesdays. I usually go to Babos. To enjoy, to, enter, to be entertained with by the band that is always there. I left Bubbles. I passed the dancers' club at my friend's pub. Went to studio for a few hours and then went home. So you can wonder. I'm not, I'm not the type of person who drives a car that looks like some other people's cars. The But it's just they just want to frustrate. Well, I, due to time constraints, I, I, I don't have the time to go into concerts, but I watch him on video very much. And uh, of course, you, you know, uh, everywhere when you listen to people, most of their, 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 their ring tones is a chameleon song. So he's always around you in that sense, you know. And uh, uh, I think he's done as proud as Ugandans. Because in the region, is somebody they talk about. His music appeals to people naturally and very easily, especially the masses, you know, they take to him. Yeah, not only because his music is good in terms of the music quality and, you know, that no, it's, it's the, the, the lyrics, the message, you know, it's, it's catchy. I remember once I was, I was in, a, in a special hire in Tanzania and I asked the cab driver, I said, do you know Chameleon? And he's like, are you mad? Who doesn't know Chameleon? You know, we love the guy here. So I was shocked. I was amazed. You see, the Nakusuba. You know, now I'm to be Naguri the ticket in Gano Red Day. Nayanga Chukuru Chidi won't know. Then the fan at a chameleon in Duding and put it in Nimbaze. Then maybe I'm a Kuru. Bozuli Rabo, woman, you're so shy. The old Yagambo, you're a Makuru. Bozuli Rabo, Navi, I get a car in Nimbaze in your Matanga, when you're a Bozuli Ramu, maybe I'm a Kuru. I like the fact that he keeps it real. It's uh, uh, a, a real African, really representing what we believe in and some of the values uh, we have here, 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 here in Africa. And uh, um, I've, I've, I've appreciated his music very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Offbeat. Welcome to the new segment on the show. This is the offbeat, where you get to hear five unusual facts about your celebrities. And let's start with Jose Chameleon. Mm, no, I don't, but I cook sometimes. Yes, I do, I do. I still, I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, I would still say Tubonge. The last time I went to the mosque, the last time, that is when I was Gaddafi, when he told, when he brought, when he put me into a hot soup. That is a big fight I have with my wife every day. The I, I'm not a socks man. But she tells me that is, that is not a good way to live because it inspires my children not to put on socks. But I'm not so good at socks. I'll be very open. Even now, I don't have... Ah, 
<laughs> okay, that is Sheikh Gaddafi, or rather the former Sheikh Gaddafi speaking. And thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you for watching Celeb Shed. Until next week, I want you to join us next week again, same time and same place. We'll be here talking nothing but showbiz 100% because this is the home of showbiz. And I want to let you go and enjoy your lives and keep it safe.